Well, good day guys welcome to today's lesson on start pro connect edition in today's lesson we are going to learn to analyze and design a 30 meter root truss okay so let's start with our modeling we pick our origin which is at point zero then we pick the midpoint which is 15 meters which is 30 divided by 2 will give us 15 meters so we've got this node 1 node 2 so let's create a beam there 1 and 2 okay so we've got this already now the height of our king post is going to be two meters so select this translational repeat in the y direction two meters so select this two meters link step click ok so we need to create this point here this beam so we'll come here add beam select it and click ok so we need to create the inner cord and what we want to do is since we know the span from here to here is 15 meters so we can cross check it so let's go to utilities let's go to node tools let's go to node to node distance and we can see this okay so you can see it's 15 meters already so what we'll do is remove the node to, remove the node to node distance select your beam cursor right click and insert nodes okay so i want to place nodes at every one meter so i need to know that is 14 so at end point you can see every one meter okay so now will be that so click ok so select your node cursor select node cursor but before that i need to make it easy for me to select so i'll come to property i'll come to section database so for my top and bottom code i want to use a special angle section I uh, will use 75 by 75 by 6 double angle. So it's back to back. So I'll choose this. Click add. Okay. Then for my webs, inner compression and tension webs, the inner trusses, I want to use 75 by this. Okay. Just that is double. So I'll change it to single and delete it. Okay. So I'll delete this. Yes. We'll be using that. Okay. So I'll just assign this to view. Assign to view. Yes. So I know I've done this for that. Now the next thing I need to do is to create my top and my compression and tension webs. But we can also see it in 3D. This is 3D rendering. So you can scroll in to see your double angles. You can see it. Okay. So let's go back to what we are doing. So go back to geometry. Select your node cursor select these nodes okay to so hold control just to get multiple selections or you pick it from the front view and you just highlight it straight down okay so geometry translational repeat in the y direction link step so let's just pick a height of five meters okay so we've seen this next thing i want to do now is highlight intersecting beams so you can see some of the beams are intersecting then intersect selected beams in sorry then select intersect selected beams yes so it will create nodes at this point which is what we want so i'll delete this one on top delete it okay yes so i need to start drawing my struts and ties now okay so select this and draw it So come to select then missing attributes missing elasticity you can see these are the ones that don't have any elasticity so you can create a new view for it so you can just assign to view so all you need to do is create new view yes then assign to view assign to view okay so we are done let's go back to the old view display old structure here so you can see it's in 3d this is the 3d rendering so you can zoom in to look at how it is okay so you can see the top and bottom cords are double while the strut and ties are single okay so let's close it now let's go to specifications so let's assign this as truss so let's create it and select truss so add now the truss members are the internal members why the top and bottom cords are not to be specified as truss okay so let's go back to property you can just get this property the names copy this copy control c on your keyboard go to specifications come to this and assign straight to selected beams 
or you can put it in the edit list so whichever one you want paste okay assign so you can see them trust model there next thing i want to do is assign support create support pin since there won't be any movement then select it use cursor to assign assign and come here okay so the next thing i want to do now is to assign loadings so you come to your loadings select it and let's choose the first one is going to be the dead load the next one is going to be the roof live load so you can select roof live if you wish and okay so under dead load let's select it so we have the self weight which is paramount add then the next one we have is the nodal load so from my dead load roof of the loading from the roofing sheets and all of that i've got a value of minus six at the mid span and minus three at the end so add and minus three at the support okay close then also for this live load i want to use a value of minus four add and minus two at the end support okay close now so self weight is paramount assigned to view then this i'm going to assign to all nodes apart from this end okay so view go to the front view select node cursor okay so highlight these nodes you can just hold control for multiple selections so you can easily select okay so assign to selected nodes yes okay. then this you can use use cursor to assign okay for easy one okay now let's go back to this also i will do this for the live load use cursor to assign okay so it's select it then the other one i'll just copy the assign edit list to it okay copy and come here Assign so we can see this now we are done with that next thing we need to do is we need to mirror it because from this point to this point is 15 meters so all you just do is can go back to geometry i like your structure now come to mirror you can see the mirror to select it now you need to know your mirror plane so my, my mirror plane is going to be yz so I'll select YZ as my mirror plane. Then I'm going to select my node I want to use to mirror. So I'll select this and copy everything. So select it and click OK. Yes. So we can see our roof draws. Once you select it, you can see the properties are still there. So let's go back to specifications. You can see member draws is specified there. We can see our support there. Let's see our loadings. Let's see if it will copy our loadings. So self with assigned this everything has been fully mirrored okay next thing i want to do now is create my load combination so according to euro code i'll go to utilities user tools euro code load combinator okay then generate and click okay we'll click that and let's go to analysis define command add close so from there now i'll go to design choose my steel design code select steel and choose the code i want to use which is euro code 3 so all i want to do in this case now is just to check code i'm not going to really go into much of the design so i just go to command and check the code so let me see if the spe member size that i specified were sufficient so assign to view assign so next thing we need to do now is run the analysis and let's hope we have no warning or error So we have zero error two warnings. So let's see what our warnings are. Okay. So now it's telling me that we have two members within the same joint and we have instability. So we are going to bypass this warning and I'll show us how we do it. Okay. So first one is we'll go to utilities, beam tools, duplicate beam, so we can see where we have because when we mirrored it, we selected it and it mirrored it twice. So remove all duplicates, yes. Now the next one we need to do now is to choose this come back to utilities command file save then change this from space to truss or plane whichever one you want so let's try truss and save so you can see start truss 
okay so let's run the analysis and let's see if our warnings will disappear so we have zero error zero warning zero no so let's go to the post processing okay so first to do is utilization ratio okay so we can see some of our members field so let's go to view this place most of our members at the bottom code most of them failed so the size we selected is not sufficient for it look at this we have a utilization ratio of 1.14 we can see this okay then let's look at this we have the utilization ratio of four so that means the member size we selected was not sufficient so there are two ways to bypass it either we increase the section sizes or we increase this pan with the increase the king pose so that it doesn't feel much in deflection and all of this so let's go back to property and let's increase this let's change it to double long leg and let's use something uh, let's try 120 by 120 by 10 okay change and let's run the analysis again So let's see if the sizes will reduce so let's go to post processing okay utilization ratio utilization ratio so you can see some of them have reduced as well the top code so let's see select it and we can see it so you need to know why it's failing the reason why it's failing will be in clause 6.3.11 that's the reason why it's failing and this is the euro this is the load combination governing the design okay so the only way we can do now since we don't want to use 120 by 120 by 10 which is going to be too heavy is for us to increase the height of this so pre presumably there's a code that says the span divided by 10 will be the height of the king post so thank you for watching today's video on trust design if you have any question you can always drop it in the comment section